Hello again, my friends, and welcome back to episode 24 of my Terraria playthrough. Um, in this episode today, we are going to be finishing up some of our last minute pre hard mode things that we need to get done before fighting the wall of flesh and really uh, adventuring into the underworld. If that sounds like fun to you, please feel free to like this video and subscribe for more Terraria content and hopefully more coming soon. I say that every time, hopefully, I mean it this time, hopefully more coming soon. Um, so on the agenda for today are a few different things, crafting up last minute items um, and whatnot. Also taking on the torch god, which should be a lot of fun. And also digging a tunnel system to hopefully protect our base and maybe some of our neighborhoods from um, the crimson and the hollow and all that good stuff as suggested by Bacon Monkey. So I really appreciate that tip and I'm always looking for tips from you guys because you guys definitely know more about this than I do. Um, so you guys may be wondering why I'm over here by the zoologist. I wanted to check to see if she had any more pets and I found that she has a dog license and we are definitely going to ask for a dog to be delivered. We are going to send the dog over to the ocean biome and hopefully by the end of this episode we'll be able to get an ocean pylon over there on the other side of the world. Um, so first things first, I'm going to come over to our base and hope that we have enough items. Uh, apparently I'm going to fall into the hole. This is not working out for me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're going to go back to our base and we are going to hope that we have enough items to craft a void bag. So uh, this was something I saw on the wiki. Um, so the void bag is something that will help us with the um, dirt and stone issue that I was having. Um, so let's see if we have the materials necessary for that. We need 30 tissue samples, which we can grab here. We only, well, I got 34 of them, but we only need 30. We need 15 jungle spores, which we do have. And then we also need 30 bones now. I was gonna say we used a lot of these bones to make the necro armor, but as of now, it looks like we have all that we need here. So we're going to make our way to a crimson altar. Um, and we're also going to have to think about where we want our little tunnel system to start and end. I'm, I'm, I of course want to protect our base. So our base will be a focal point uh, probably from where our elevator is, we'll probably go and um, try to protect that area as best we can. Wow, we got a lot of bad, a lot of baddies out here tonight. Chino the dog has arrived, so we do have our dog here. Thankfully, that that happened pretty quickly. Actually, I wasn't expecting that to be so soon. Um, so we're going to come down here because we have a crimson altar right over here. That we are going to look at and we are going to create a void bag. Which summons a void vault. And it carries items for us. It may pick up items when your inventory is full. Which is absolutely amazing. So now if, if our inventory is full it's going to um, pick them up for us. So now we're not, we, we essentially double our inventory. Which is something that is very necessary. We're going to go ahead and head back home. Um, oh, look at this. We got a lantern. We got a lantern knight. So we're going to come over here. We're going to use this pylon. We're going to make our way over here to the snow pylon. Because we are going to run the rest of the way to get to the ocean. And so we're going to make our way over there. I don't know if there's going to be anything interesting on the way here. Oh, I tried to get him on the way down. I worked so hard on my aim. People who watched episode one, people who watched episode, the first few episodes, they know. They know how difficult aiming is for me. I have not been very good at the bow, and then I got really good, and then I had to take the break, and we kind of ended up right back to where we left off. So we are going to make our way. We are already at the dungeon. This is pretty good. So I saw a lot of items that we're going to need to craft. I was looking at the wiki trying to figure out as much as I can and um, 
apparently all the tally counters and the DPS counters and all that good stuff apparently there is a really good item that we can get that will help us um, with all the information we need called the cell phone um, and it's essentially just crafting all of those types of items and crafting them until um, we have one big thing and so that's definitely um, on my radar it's something that I would like to do um, we are going to bring the dog over here she know the dog you're coming you're coming over here now I don't know if that's gonna help us buy a pylon obviously not yet but hopefully when the dog gets over here we're gonna be able to buy that pylon so that we can make our way over here a lot easier let's go ahead and head back home so what we're gonna work on now is I believe what I would like to do is uh, take on this torch god challenge so I've never done this before um, I'm not even entirely sure what it is I know that it is done underground so we're gonna come over here and I know we've got to have a big area that maybe we can find something that's already a cleared out area that we can put the torches in like maybe this would be a good little area this is already pretty cleared out do we have any bombs we do not okay so let's go ahead and light up this area oh I should actually you know what let's go back home and grab platforms I believe I'm gonna need a lot of platforms and to my knowledge from what the wiki said is that this is essentially an agility challenge some sort of um, test to see how good you are at dodging and all that good stuff so we're definitely going to see what we can do um, I think 127 platforms will be fine we only need a hundred torches in one like area underground um, I've never never done the torch God challenge never done anything of the sort I don't really even fully understand it I just know that it's something that we can do and something that I'm going to do and so let's go ahead and clear this up oh look at look at who it is a pink fairy are they going to show me the way show me the way to something I probably missed because I'm completely clueless <laughs> so it'd be really nice I should have actually got a bunch of sticky bombs and just started latching them everywhere that probably would have been the best way to go about this clearing do I have any oh I do have some mining potions let's go ahead and take one of these it's not perfect but gets the job done let's go ahead and continue clearing this area we definitely could have done with the sticky bombs for the roof up here we know for sure we want to clear this up then maybe we come over this way oh any anywhere where we can get like a little bit of an opening is fine by me the fairy is just kind of sticking around he's like this guy seems pretty cool I'm gonna float around he's not greedy he doesn't just want my treasure I don't know how much of an area I need to clear again um, I just know I need a hundred a hundred torches sitting around which I think should be perfectly fine let's go ahead and get this la layer so I don't know if this is big enough maybe we'll clear that top spot up here too This area here it's kind of becoming rectangular I wanted to throw a glow stick but I think I dropped them all in the I think I dropped them all in the chest at the house so that's unfortunate Okay, let's clear this up. We're almost done here, and then we're gonna start laying the the platforms. 
Okay. So, I have 500. It appears as though I have 542. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stack of 101 of these. I took way too many there. Because I believe once you place the 100th one, or the 101st one, that it uh, starts the challenge. So let's kind of clear up the remaining little blocks here. And then let's start placing these suckers. Okay, so let's start placing these torches up and down this wall. We're going to see how much this wall, how much this wall covers. So that did uh, about 30. Not too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put um, platforms maybe across here. I think they need to all be on the screen at once as well which makes it a little bit more difficult to get to let's build it across here and I think between these two platforms we could probably jump up and avoid most of the issues oh we're making stairs on accident And then let's place that there. Okay, and then maybe we'll get us some wall, some stone here that we'll place up. I realized that now we're actually cutting into our elevator a little bit, but that's okay. I can break that apart. Okay, let's go ahead and try to place as many of these as we can. We're going to attach here, fill up these, and then we should be able to just kind of go up this wall. The fairy finally got tired of us. He's like, okay, I knew you weren't greedy because you didn't want to just go for our stuff, but you didn't have to take an hour and a half. Go ahead and put a platform down here. Can I like, ah, there we go. Good placement. So what we want to do is place them across the bottom here. This is going to definitely give us enough maybe. Now I'm looking at the numbers and I'm not quite sure that it is going to be enough. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, all we have to do now is maybe we got seven. So why don't we just, if we cut two holes here, we got two there, two more here, two more here. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness, it's actually a bit more intense than I expected. A little bit, it's just as much dexterity as it is agility, oh my goodness. So uh, from what I understand, all these torches are attacking us. The torch god is angry or happy that we place torches, I guess. I keep jumping into torches because I'm trying to get this skeleton. Man, they are getting me. Oh, come on. Oh, we did it. <laughs> First try, somehow, that was very close. But we got the torch god's favor. And so now I believe what that means is um, all those different ice torches and whatnot that we found. An ability toggle to the left of the inventory when enabled normal torches change according to your biome. So we have the torch god's favor. So now, I don't think these normal torches will change. 
But now, if, for example, in the snow biome, if we use, if we put a torch down in the snow biome, now it's going to be blue, like the snow, like the snow biome, um, and the ice torches. So this is going to come in handy for sure. This is awesome. I'm glad I was able to do that on the first try because I definitely thought I was going to die for a second there. Um, let's go ahead and clear this area up from these platforms because this is our elevator. We don't want we don't want it to be completely a mess. We'll leave all of these as a reminder of our torch god area. I actually saw some torches coming from over here on the map. Um, some of those attacks were coming it was pretty funny. But oh I guess I could actually just teleport up. Okay, so the Torch God favor was finished. So that's two things down. So we've got the Void Bag and we got the Torch God event. Two very good things to get done. Um, next, I think we're going to work on this tunnel system that I was talking about. I do not know how big the tunnel needs to be. So if I do this wrong, I'm definitely gonna need um, some clarification from you guys but I think what I can do is at least give it a start I'm going to I don't know if three blocks is enough so because of that I'm gonna do six blocks it six blocks blockses I'm gonna do six blocks for a tunnel that I'm going to put and we'll end up with the six wide block tunnel that's going to uh, protect our base, hopefully, from any kind of corrupt, or not corruption, but crimson, or any of the other hard mode biomes that spawn. Um, and we're gonna dig it, I don't know if you could see in this map, but there's this giant hole here, and we're gonna dig it all the way over to that. And maybe I can actually dig a chunk out of um, underneath that um, neighborhood over here. Maybe I can dig something out there to where that is protected as well. But at the moment what I want is I want this to be even first of all. I want to know where this six is and then we're going to go up right here. So obviously this isn't the best looking option for the house, but I think eventually once we kind of get the crimson and everything contained, we'll be able to uh, make a really cool tunnel system out of this with maybe a minecart system that takes us from one end of the map to the other. So we, we're starting to do the sky, this, the sky uh, bridge, but I'm thinking like a tunnel bridge would actually be kind of cooler. Um, if that sounds like something that you guys are interested in as well, then feel free to let me know. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig down three more. And we're going to go straight across this way. So now we have a six by six little chasm here. That's hopefully going to be big enough to protect us from any of that... Um, any of those nasty biomes that we could get. So we want... There we go. Three there. So the little... Um, the little ponds are actually kind of cool. I do like them. This shouldn't be too bad to get all the way to the end. We've got a little bit of flooding in our underwater tunnel already. Not a problem. We'll figure that out. We'll solve it later. Okay, so I'm going to finish this one up. And then what I'll probably do is figure out which neighborhoods I want to do. And then kind of um, show them off after I finish them. Because I think this is probably going to end up taking me longer than we actually have um, to get through. 
So we're making our way. And we're going all the way to the elevator as well, which is going to take a while to get through. Um, in fact, I realized just now that our mining potion ran out. That's something that we definitely want to have on. It goes so much faster. I did also see the meteorite over there. I forgot about that, to be honest. We kind of skipped over the meteorite. We never really dug it up. Um, that is something we could do. Um, really quickly in the future. Oh look, I never actually dug this part of the tunnel. So that was um, a mistake on my end. <laughs> I just kind of went... I didn't go all the way to the elevator. Um, the nice thing is, is that this will also, if I if I do this right, and hopefully I do, this will give me an area up above outside of my base that's going to be protected as well, or at least easy to protect. It may not be completely protected on its own, but it should um, be relatively simple to protect in the future, um, whether that be clearing clearing some of the um, different corruptions or preventing it from even occurring in the first place. Either way, I think we're going to be okay. So we're going to go through. I think six blocks is enough. Our, our um, main concern is this area here, the, our base. Everything else is going to be a little bit extra. I don't know how efficient the neighborhoods will be um, if we block them off. Um, I already am pretty sure that the desert biome is going to be a little bit on the annoying side to protect with the tunnel just because of the sand. So I'll have to dig deep enough to go to the sandstone level. But not too deep to where I leave uh, enough leave enough area for it to um, corrupt so we're gonna find out it's gonna be a learning process but with this done we now have our tunnel underneath our base that goes from one end to the other through our elevator and underneath our base like I said I actually really like it I think it's a really neat. Um, I think it's a neat way to protect it, and hopefully it works. So our next step here, like I said, is going to be finding out which, um, like this one for example, it will probably be easy because we have this natural cave under here. So if we, for example, come down here, we'll do the six blocks like before and we're not going to go as deep with them because they don't have an underground base part like I did I'm thinking we could go maybe about here then we can go straight across and we just want to protect these guys the less chance they have to get this biome damage the better so what I'm doing here is probably what I'm going to do for the rest of their the rest of their um, neighborhoods so I'll be traveling to each pylon and um, what I will do is I will pause the episode here um, I will come back and when I come back you guys will have um, a little bit of a tour of all of my neighborhoods with their new additions of tunnels. And so I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm finishing up the last bit of the tunnel underneath the jungle biome neighborhood, um, which is actually, it, it's taken a while, but not as much as I would have thought that it would take me. So let me finish this up, last few blocks here. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys 
what I did for each one. So nice six by six uh, size tunnel going across this way for the jungle biome. Okay, and then for the desert biome, we got one as well. In fact, this seems a little short here. So I'm just gonna, just because I can, I'm gonna go down this way. And let's just, um, just, just for the benefit of the doubt, let's keep it there. Um, then we got the forest one. I already showed you guys that one. Um, the cavern, we, I did not do that one. Maybe I'll do it later. And the snow was actually kind of easy because we already had this mountain top. So I just cut one right below it. I cut the mountain top, kind of um, separated it from the rest of the from the rest of the map. So um, hopefully those work. If those aren't gonna work, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. If that's not gonna work, then we will definitely find another. Um, I'll make those tunnels bigger if I have to. Um, anything like that. Um, so what we're gonna do now is run over to the ocean. So I put my dog over here. I'm gonna hope that the dog um, allows us to buy a ocean, one of the ocean pylons, because I would like to put one over here. This would be the easiest access for the dungeon if we can get one over here. Um, I did not put a tunnel over here for the ocean, which I guess um, could be an issue in the future, but I think it's gonna be okay. I don't think I need one, uh, but I guess we'll find out um, if the ocean <laughs> biome gets um, corrupted by something, then I guess we will know that I was wrong. But as of now, I think we're okay. Oh man, I really could, I've been kind of putting off, I've been kind of putting that off, uh, picking up the meteorite because I know another one will spawn if I don't get rid of that. Okay, let's see. Nope, still no ocean, still no ocean pylon, he doesn't sell any. Um, so I was trying to get, I believe the stylus to move in. Um, but I have zero idea how to get the stylus to move in. Um, this house has been made for her and everything, but I don't know how to get them over here. Um, so let's go ahead and head back home. And what we're going to do now, um, since I can't get the ocean pylon, I guess what we'll do is... Um... Well, why don't we just go check out the, let's go not into the underworld, but let's go near it. See if we can find any chests because I would like to find a lava charm. Um, a lava charm is going to be pretty much essential for us to um, mine in the underworld because we need us, we need to make sure we have lava immunity in some capacity. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, in fact, you know what I could do is actually, well, first of all, let's take this teleportation potion and see where it takes us. Oh, so we are somewhere I have not been before, you could tell. I saw some light over there. I don't know if it was a blink route. This is where having something like the cell phone would come in handy because it'd be nice to see it would definitely be nice to see how far down we are. I've learned that this actually shows so much of the map. This is how I ended up finding the... Um, this is how I found the hive when I was looking for the queen bee. Is I was using this shooting star, which lights up quite a bit in terms of these little caverns over here see we can find a lot of the pockets and see where it might be worth walking to see like this area we can come down this way I have no idea where I am in terms of the map which was could have gotten a compass for sure 
could have brought our compass, I should say. Um, yeah, I think that was a bit of a dud, unfortunately. Uh, it was a risk. It did not pay off. So let's head home. So next episode, we're going to dive into the underworld. I do not know if we're going to fight the wall of flesh next episode, but I would like to. Um, so maybe for episode 25, we can do a long episode as well. And maybe we'll explore the underworld and make our way into hard world. If that's something you are interested in. Another thing that you can um, leave in the comment section below. Should the next episode be a bit of a longer one with more exploration of the underworld and hopefully completing pre-hard mode. If that sounds good to you, why don't you like this video, comment, tell me. Bubasaurus, that would be fantastic. You should totally make a longer episode for our for our Friday slash Saturday episode, depending on where you're at. Otherwise, I've been Bubasaurus, your host for today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see some more. And as always, remember to be on your Bubasaurus best.